guys, today I want to talk about a story that NASA told um, at the bodybuilding.com interview with Dropson and the pictures are from the bodybuilding.com interview. And these are private pictures and when you don't know Greg Kovach, um, he was a bodybuilder uh, mostly competing in the 90s and he was known for, you know, being amazingly massive not for aesthetic reasons he was six foot five tall and he was weighing way more than 400 pounds in the off season um something around 420 pounds in the off season six foot tall so he was a fucking beast i mean look at that um in his later career and this was you know at his good times but he was never a successful bodybuilder in the pro ranks. Um, he did only a couple of contests and his best placing was 13th place at the Arnold Classic. This was his later years, um, I think 203, 204, when he competed, you know, but his gut got worse and worse. And this was, you know, some of the pictures from that time. But, you know, let's take it back and that too. That are, you know, pictures that a lot of people say Palumboism. You know it. I also made a video on Palumbism. Check it out, my channel. But let's go to the NASA story. So NASA told a funny story. I don't know if it's true. You know, in the end, it's we will never know it because sadly both of them passed away in, in 2013. I think both passed away in the same year. I don't know. But let's talk about it. Back then, Greg Kovach was so big that when he was eating at the restaurant, he had to bring his girlfriend with him. Um, to cut the steak into pieces and fat him and feed him, of course. And after that, he had to take a shit, you know. And the girlfriend, 10 minutes later, when he, you know, went to the toilet, 10 minutes later, she came also into the men's bathroom. And, you know, Greg Kovac was putting his hand into the air for the girl to know it, where he was, and to help him uh, reach his rear and wipe his ass because he couldn't reach his rear by himself. It was so big he couldn't do it by himself. Okay, that's you know you probably ask yourself, okay, um, what's what is when he was alone and the girl wasn't there? Um, did it happen? Yes. Once he was in Atlanta at a hotel and a person came to his hotel um, to give him medical items, and you probably can guess what it is. Um, and he wanted to go to the toilet at Greg Kovac's apartment, but Greg said, no, you can't go there. Um, he prohibited, prohibited it strongly, but the man still went to the toilet because he probably had to, you know, <laughs> strongly had to piss or whatever. So he went to the toilet and a disgusting smell was there in the air. And, you know, although the smell was there, it was still going into the toilet. And what he saw was towels of towels you know a lot of towels with skid marks with shit marks because um he himself couldn't reach his end he used towels to wipe his ass and to clean his ass he used towels and the whole bathroom was full of it so that was the reason why greg Kovach prohibited it um do you think the story is true i don't know do you know the serious x factor back then um it was a myth serious at the end of the uh video the episode we know okay this was real this is fake but this will probably always be a myth because like i said both passed away it's still crazy because a lot of guys um ask themselves you know in the forums or on youtube because the guys who don't are not that into bodybuilding if the bodybuilders can wipe them at their asses um it seems like may you know greg coach may couldn't do it at least in the off season um if you like this story, if you want more stories like that, funny stories that not everybody knows about, that some NASA stories, maybe if you want it, give the video a thumb up, comment on you know your next topic. Um, I will not only do contest coverage in the next videos, you will probably maybe see me again. Have a nice evening, subscribe to my channel and write your opinion if you think this is true or fake.